should I say good afternoon, the sun's already high in the sky. Father Benedictus dropped by earlier. He says he has something to show us at the top of the mountain. Everyone else has gone on ahead. But I thought I'd wait for you. Shall we go and join them? There's a little door to the right of the cathedral. The path is through there. So glad you could finally join us. Yggdrasil blessed me with another vision in the night. I saw Veronica standing upon this very ledge. It is known as Luminary's Landing. When Erdwin descended from the heavens after facing the Dark One, this is where he alighted. And this is the Calamus Flute. In my dream, Veronica played upon it. It once belonged to the great sage Serenica. She left it in Arborea on her final visit, the day after the Dark One finally fell. I gave it to Veronica as a memento of her heroic ancestor. And yet, when I awoke this morning, there it was upon my pillow. It is a sign. The flute will reveal the path you must tread. Serena, my child, if you would be so kind. Of course. be doing it wrong. But if Veronica was playing it in Father Benedictus's vision, it must be the key. Can you try, perhaps? <laughs> the mark! It's glowing! Fishing rod? I fear it is I who am seeing visions. You got a bite! Oh, go on, darling! Reel it in! It's 
so it was, as I suspected. It was upon her back that you rode in my dream. The sacred conveyance of the luminary, Cetacea. It seems that she heeds the call of the flute. You must play it whenever you require her aid. Go, Luminary, and seek out the floating island. It is the World Tree's will. Whatever awaits you there will surely aid you in the fight against the Lord of Shadows. Do not let Veronica's sacrifice be in vain.
goodness. 